are these people? Microsoft is banning Palestinians for life from using Skype if they call their relatives in Gaza. Nice. This, this came out of the BBC of all places that did an investigation. Mint Press News picked it up, put out this nice graphic on, on Instagram as well as on Twitter. Not X, but Twitter. Somebody says time yeah. to switch to Linux and you can explain why that's not a good idea. Mostly it's software related. I mean, great in theory, but yeah, there's a lot of software issues with that. Um, but here we go. A BBC uh, investigation found that numerous cases uh, existed where Palestinians have had their Microsoft accounts abruptly shut down for making calls to their relatives in Gaza. One affected user, yeah, a Palestinian in the U.S., said, I've had this Hotmail account for 15 years. They banned me for no reason, saying I violated their terms. What terms? Tell me. Then they told them, you are Hamas, sir. Effectively. Hamas. Yes, everybody is Hamas. So, yes, that anybody within Gaza at this point, thanks to Microsoft kowtowing to the Israeli government, um, that they are going to, or they have been banning certain accounts that I'm guessing that the Israeli AI system is telling Microsoft, hey, you need to ban these people because they are Hamas, whether they are or aren't. And how much evidence they have towards that, I have no idea, uh, honestly. But it's weird that it's happening to people that live abroad that are calling their relatives to see if they're alive. And I read an article on... MSN from the BBC that I didn't bring with us that said that um, Skype often works even when there's no internet, which is why a lot of people in uh, in Gaza have Skype when they can even get power to their phones. I know how that works, but okay. Yeah, I, I don't mm. either. Um, it's got some other direct connection. It's the way that I believe that um, Apple works like like how Apple messaging works, even if you are not mm. necessarily connected to the Internet. Like when like it used to be that when I was on an airplane, Apple messaging would actually work if I was connected to like Wi-Fi, but no other kind of DMs or instant messages or anything would. We're all getting squeezed, everyone. So if there's any way that you're able to. We know it's tough out there for everyone. Couple of bucks again. Sarah was was really generous, and and she was able to help us out with 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 some money this weekend. Um, and we're going to get we're trying to get Jesse a new computer. We had a part blow on Reef's machine. I had a power cable thing blow on my machine. You know, this is the regular stuff that we deal with on a regular uh, on a daily basis, just in order to be able to do this stuff. So anything that anybody can do to help. Certainly, it it's appreciated and and necessary because we're we're not getting sponsor money and we're not getting advertiser dollars and you guys are the only people that that we depend on for any kind of any kind of funding and any kind of of uh, support. So we deeply appreciate it. Um, 